What is going on today? Hello? How dare you? What? How dare you? I'm sorry. Uh, who's Hello? It? Samuel. Kathy? Yes, Kathy. Don't right. Kathy me. I've been sitting on hold. Well, I'm sorry. We had some complications with the phone lines. I kept getting these uh, messages. I didn't, I didn't know who was calling. You didn't know who was calling? How dare you talk? Yes, I heard you talk. That little fellow you work with talking about me. What? He said I don't pull through. I'm quoting here. I don't pull through nearly as much as I should. How dare he? Are you saying... Uh, I'll give that little fellow a knuckle supper. Don't you think I won't? And you, I don't know how to work a phone, Samuel. Is that what you said? You're the one who was calling that comic Peter Tosh. What is he, some kind of reggae star? You were, you were calling Malcolm McLaren. Remember that error you made? Don't you tell me who doesn't know how to use the phone. I, 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 I you know, I... I Marshall I, McLuhan, by so, the way. Malcolm McLaren. Peter Tosh. I don't know how to use a phone. Well, now, Kathy, you seem really you. upset. Now, just cal- you got to calm down just a moment. I, I you know, I, I say things that, uh, you know, in the, the heat of the moment on the program, I can't be, I, I, I want to retroactively go back and say that I and, didn't and say leave those. And leave Bain Capital? You want to retroactively lean, leave Bain Capital? Well, Speaking let me, of I, which, Sam, it's so hot out. I want to tell you about a wonderful thing. Let's all put all the bad blood in the past. Uh, between that little fellow you work with and, and, and all of that. Listen, I've opened up a lemon wet goods stand with Mitt Sun. It's so hot out. I'm sorry, a lemon, lemon wet, wet goods. Good stand with, with one? Yes, $500 a cup for lemon wet good. That's what the Mormons call it. It's a delicious drink. You might know it as lemonade. I do know it as lemonade. And so you've you've opened up a lemon wet good stand with one of the yes, Romney with, with Mitt Romney's sons. There's Quintus Mitford the younger, George Foreman, Godric, and Brutus. <laughs> I don't know. I I I I think George Foreman is actually George Foreman's son. Hello. Uh, uh, are you there? Yes, I I've opened the stand of lemon wet good with Quintus. Mitford the Younger, George Foreman, Godric, and Brutus. Those are their names. I don't know. What now? What, where have you opened up this uh, wet good? Wet, Lemon wet? wet good. We're in Florida because we're down here supporting Governor Rick Scott and, and the HB 1355 bill. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. What is the HB 1355 bill? You know, you know what? Governor Rick Scott signed the bill in May. We're trying to make it harder for people to vote. Oh, I see. Yes, um, Rick Scott actually had um, uh, got a a list from the federal government, uh, supposedly of uh, of those uh, immigrants who are not naturalized citizens. Voter fraud, Sam. You know voter fraud. Let's, yes, you know the I bill mean, sponsor. You... you know Mike Bennett, Senator Mike Bennett. Well, now you uh, you you did a lot of voter disenfranchisement uh, during your time, didn't you? You're gosh darn right, I am. I'm with Mike Bennett on this one. He he doesn't have a problem with making it harder, and neither do I. He said, and, and I'm going to quote him here: "I want people in Florida to want to vote as bad as that person in Africa who walks 200 miles across the desert. This should not be easy, and it's no coincidence." He said, "Africa, nudge, nudge, wink, wink." Listen, Samuel. Yes. Michelle Malkin's down here. We got Valerie Hodges down here. George Will is here. Wait, what are you all doing there? Well, Michelle Malkin is still, as you know, she she's right now today fighting the war on July 17th. She She's still upset about the war on 4th of July from Holly Weird. Wait, what is the war? What, now, I'm, I'm not even familiar with this. The uh, There's a war on, on July 4th? Well, the war on 4th of July, remember Michelle Malkin was talking about it because Chris Rock and Zach Braff were talking about, don't forget on 4th of July that not everyone was free, the slaves. Now, that's just anti-American talk from Hollywood. Michelle Malkin knows this. Marco Rubio knows this. Yes, George so the, Will knows this. Valerie Hodges knows is this. George Will still upset about this? I didn't even realize he tweeted. Well, George, no, George Will's down here at the Lemon Wet Good Stand reminding people that it's just hot. Don't question it. 
It's just hot out. There's no need to read any further into it. <laughs> it's just yeah. hot. There's no bigger reason than that. It's summer. Have a, have a five hundred dollar cup of lemon wet good and shut up. That's what George Will says. Wow. Now this is a big uh, this is a big move for you. Now have you done has the uh, lemon wet good stand done well? I mean you must be at real- five hundred dollars a cup. You bet it has. <laughs> There's really been one person anonymously who's been buying all the cups. I don't know who it is, but <laughs> that person's really been buying the lion's share of cups. <laughs> How many cups have you sold? Eight hundred billion. <laughs> Eight hundred billion cups at five hundred. Wow, that's a that's but a we lot. We don't of- know who's been buying them all up. Maybe the Father God, praise Him, White Power, Bright Part. Are you now? What are you doing with this uh, money? We are sending, we are giving it to uh, Valerie Hodges to make sure you know the school voucher problem. Act two HP nine seven six. Valerie Hodges from District sixty four. She wants the school vouchers to only go for religious schools that the founders and the Father God praise and white power wanted, the Christian religion now, in Louisiana. Now, yeah, I was going to say that she's not even from Florida, but you're you're sending all that. No, no. She, Yes, she's, we're sending some of the monies from Lemon Wet Good. Also, Congressman Bill Young of Florida's 9th District is here. He's uh, making sure that, that uh, the minimum wage does not go above $7.25. Get a job, that's what he says. So Quintus Smithford, the younger George Foreman, Godric, and Brutus know this. So they're working at the Lemon Wet Good stay. Oh, my gosh. Well, wow, this sounds like a party down there. I, it I, is a party, Sam, and it's just hot. Don't question it. George Will will tell you that. Can I ask you, um, um, uh, Kathy Harris, w- will you join some of your fellow conservatives and ask Mitt Romney to release his taxes? No. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, why should he? Why well, should he? Well, I mean, there seems to be a lot of question as to whether or not he may have... Uh, Broken any laws? I mean, he seems to be. Rad- yeah, there seems to be a lot of questions about whether or not you even know anything about anything. You're a terrible Jew. You're a job killer. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm sorry. We talked about that recently, by the way. Tell that little fella who was saying I don't pull through nearly some. I just talked to you <laughs> about what a bad Jew you are. What a Ponzi scheme job killer you Wait are. Wait a second. Wait a second. What is did you? What is my being a bad Jew have to be doing with a job? How my am I point you, being? I just talked to you, and you 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 guys are saying I don't call in. Wow, that I guess that really rubbed you the wrong it way. It did really rub me the wrong way. I, just, I need another glass of lemon white good. Uh, is that completely so hot out here? I'm having some lemon wet good, and don't you think Mitt Romney? You know he passed the Voight comp test, Sam. He's not a replicant. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's not a replicant. He passed the Voight comp test. What is the test Vaunt- given by the Terrell Corporation? <laughs> Wait, what? The Voight comp test? What are you talking about? Did you see that documentary, Blade Runner? <laughs> the documentary, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Remember that, Blade Runner? Wait, was that was that was that was was Harrison Ford in that? Yes. But the I- Voight comp test to tell if there's replicants among us and Mitt. Passed with flying colors, lemon wet good. Well, now you understand that 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 Blade Runner was actually a movie. It was a. It was not. Hello. 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 Yes. Can you hear? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Michelle Malkin says says to not say hello to you. Oh, she's uh, she's got an issue with me, does she? Does she yes, still have her cheerleader outfit on? Weird. No, she does not have her cheerleader outfit on. She has a tankini on. A tankini? She's wearing a tankini. It's more modest than a bikini. Marcus, Marcus has one. She's wonderful. Marcus has a new design for his sportswear collection of tankinis, and Michelle's wearing one today because it's just hot. George Will will tell you that. Wait, Marcus, you're talking Marcus Bachman? Is he down there as well? Yes, she's wonderful. She's designed a tankini line. I see. Now, uh, so do you think that there seems to be any uh, sort of uh, remorsefulness? I mean, I I, I guess I should say not remorsefulness, but uh, regret on behalf of Republicans. Mitt Romney uh, seems seems to have basically um, really blown this. 
what are you talking about? You broke it. The first part of it broke up. But what is it you going on and on about? Is the tax info still or what did well, you Well, no, it just seems that Mitt Romney now is... Um, is in big trouble. Uh, he, no apologies. You saw the book cover. No apologies. He's not going to apologize. Why should he? Why don't you apologize? Well, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, uh, listen, uh, Kathy Harris, I'm going to, uh, I, I appreciate your calling in. And again, please call in any time. Oh, really? And so can I sit on hold for 40 minutes and then you're laughing at me? Should I do that again, Samuel? Should I sit on hold for over 40 well, minutes? Well, you know, we take phone calls generally around this time. It said I was first in line. Well, <laughs> and representative were... will be with you momentarily. Uh, uh, lie, job killer. <laughs> well, Bunch of job killers over there. I, I, I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, but I hear that little fellow laughing behind you. <laughs> He's, I hear him laughing behind you. He's just, he just enjoys it when you call in. I, I, I wouldn't t- take it personally. I do take it personally. I take it very personally. I'm a big fan. A big, big fan. Oh, don't you be sarcastic (laughs) with me, little fella. I'll tell you what for. What is he, 15 now? Okay, are you taking off the airplane? Where are you going? Has it even descended yet? All right, well. um, His uh, voice hasn't changed yet. (laughs) Oh, he makes me so mad. Well, Should he be in school? Kathy Harris, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye. Gosh. Wow. She uh she seemed a little bit upset. <laughs>